Right at Mooney Valley in the first event, the favourite Flamingo Kid at 11 to 8. Off the back of the 400, Flamingo Kid still six metres in front of Hanover Boy and Karamar Kenny on the outside. Then the Dark Ones held up fourth, followed by Ublis on the outside, about to pull to the outside. Crafty Lee goes to the outside from Wilberwin, Empire Fella and Purple Spot. Around the turn of the 200 though, and Flamingo Kid still five metres in front. Hanover Boy slowly bridging the gap, followed by the Dark Ones. Flamingo Kid two metres in front. Hanover Boy wearing him down on the outside. Hanover Boy doing a little bit the better than Flamingo Kid near the line. And Hanover Boy's got up to win by three metres. Maybe Flamingo Kid second, just in front of the Dark Ones third. Wilbur Hanover win. Boy at 10 to 1, successful in the first good result for the books. Flamingo Kid 11 to 8, favourite the Dark Ones at 6 to 1 in race 2. Good time dancer, the favourite 6 to 4. Perfect line. Racing. El Trafford's gone away quickly, trying to head off Good Time Dancer at the judge the first time, draws four metres in front. Good Time Dancer booting up the turn coming up and Good Time Dancer holds out El Trafford. Glen Tucky back in the field has broken up. Accelerator racing third on the outside, so Golden Plateau caught a little bit deep and Good Time Dancer leads El Trafford who drops on the rail for the trail. Copper Class racing three back on the inside early. Lockwood Road is three wide on the back of Golden Plateau going forward. Accelerator settles midfield, followed by Columbia two and Jan's Hope is last and Glen Tucky after breaking is being pulled up out of the event. Halfway along the back on the first circuit, Good Time Dancer, two metres in front. Lockwood Road on the outside gets to second. Third, El Trafford. Fourth on the outside, Golden Plateau. Copper Class Racing, three back on the inside early. Accelerator third last and four metres away. Columbia two on the outside of Jan's Hope. Not much pace on before the turn and Good Time Dancer now steadied by a metre and a half to on the outside, Lockwood Road. El Trafford Racing third, followed by Golden Plateau fourth. On the outside accelerator and back on the fence copper class then columbia two and a head away on the inside is jan's hope in the straight now a circuit to go at the 950 good time dancers at a handy run the first circuit by a meter to lockwood road el trafford racing third fourth on the outside golden plateau being trailed up by accelerator she's close enough in the run copper class badly snookered three back on the inside columbia two racing second last and a head back on the inside is jan's hope out of the straight the final time at the 800 it's good time dancers by two metres to Lockwood Road on the outside. He's worked in the run, followed by El Trafford, the leader's back. Golden Plateau fourth on the outside. Copper Class can't get a crack at them, followed by Accelerator close up. And four metres to Jan's Hope on the inside of Columbia two. At the 600, Good Time Dancer well tried. He landed in front. He's had a handy run by two metres to Lockwood Road. El Trafford still racing third, followed by Golden Plateau the outside. Copper Class still badly held up. Accelerator now pulls to the outside, forcing Columbia two wide, followed by Jan's Hope, one off the fence. 350 out before the turn. Good time dancer, a neck in front of Lockwood Road on the outside. El Trafford still can't get a run. Golden Plateau racing three wide. Accelerator racing four wide on the turn. She's got the job ahead. Copper class going okay. Can't get a run. Good time dancer straightens up three metres in front though of Lockwood Road. Then Accelerator late on the outside. Good time dancer. He's got away with plenty. He's two metres in front. Accelerator late on the outside is grabbing. Good time dancer. Good time dancer just in front accelerator draws to it it may be accelerator a nose to good time dancer nothing in it though a wall on there for third copper class lockwood road el trafford golden plateau columbia two jan's hope has run last and glenn tucky was pulled up early yes brian markovic your commentator and brian was spot on accelerator got up in the last stride at nine to four good time dancer six to four favorite columbia two 12 to one the first heat of the oaks was the third nadezda long odds on Arms fold back, they're racing. The Desert's gone away quickly with maybe Melody and also looking for the leader, Spare Child. In behind them came Fragrance in the centre and going forward, making a line of three as onward move. And now four deep as the Desert coming off the back. In behind them came Light Dundee. Six metres to Robin Banks, followed by Briskler. And six metres away, Loretta Last. Spare Child in front early around the turn. The favourite, the Desert's having little luck at the moment, racing three and four deep for the moment. Maybe Melody is also going with it. Back in behind them came Light Dundee. Dundee, four metres to one would move. Spare child in front, he drops anchor. Nadezda zips up on the outside and it's about to hit the lead with two seconds to go. The favourite cruises to the lead, Nadezda, by six metres to spare child. Leaving maybe Melody on the outside without cover. Light Dundee on the fence, Loretta the inside, four pairs back. 
Onward move on the outside, followed by Robin Banks. Fragrance Racing, three back on the outside and second last. And four metres away, Briskler. Out of the straight at the 1,550. Nadezda given a breather by four metres to Spare Child. Five metres away, third light, Dundee. And a metre the outside without cover is maybe Melody. Loretta Racing, fifth and four back on the inside. Two metres to Onward move. Then Fragrance on the outside of Robin Banks and four metres away, Briskler. At the 12.50, it's Nadezda by four metres to Spare Child. Third place. Racing Light Dundee, without cover maybe Melody on its back in turn as onward move, Loretta Racing four back on the inside, four metres to Robin Banks, Fragrance Racing second last and five metres away Briskler, a thousand to go on the turn and Barfa Racing four deep the first 400 metres, Nadezda's had a pretty good run, well rated by four metres, in second placing Spear Child and up on the outside maybe Melody, it's under pressure the outside, Light Dundee back on the fence, onward move having a handy run, Fragrance on its back in turn now pulls to the the outside three wide from third last Loretta racing four back on the inside now three back on the inside can't get a crack at them as Spear Child comes off the fence within a meter of Nadezda onward move third last from Robin Banks and last is Briskler out of the straight the final time Nadezda quickens up by three meters to Spear Child fragrance racing three wide the leaders back as light Dundee in the center maybe Melody under pressure Loretta badly held up from onward move Robin Banks and last is Briskler at the 650 Nadezda under a good hold in front by two metres to Spare Child. Fragrance Racing, three wide boxing on, Light Dundee on the inside. Loretta now coming one off the fence to be fifth. A break of eight metres to Robin Banks. Maybe Melody can't go on from one would move and last is Briskler. At the 400, it's still Nadezda by three metres. Spare Child on the outside trying hard. Fragrance under pressure. Light Dundee back on the fence is running a pretty good race for a bolter, followed by Loretta. About to be pulled to the outside, followed by Robin Banks and Briskler. Then on would move, followed by maybe Melody. At the 200 though, Nadezda straightens up four metres in front. Demler looks around, he pinched four metres to Spare Child. Light Dundee back on the fence, Loretta on the outside making ground. Nadezda three metres in front, here's Robin Banks getting the split and flying. Just in front, Nadezda, Robin Banks is rattling home on the outside. Nadezda just in front, it may have got in a nose. Nadezda to Robin Banks, very tight, could go either way. Third also tight, Loretta and Light Dundee. Then Spare Child, followed by Onward Move, Fragrance Briskler and maybe Melody's run last. Well, unfortunately for the punters, uh, Robin Banks got up at 50 to 1, tipping out the long odds on favourite Nadezda, Light Dundee at 25 to 1. Second heat of the Oaks race four, Ring of Light odds on. Racing. Confidence gone away quite okay. Laura Beth racing fifth on settling down. Good go for the early lead. Lady Hawk has tried to head off clockwork on its inside. Confident caught a little bit deep and Ring of Light racing wide on that top turn as Lady Hawk is laying in on top of clockwork and hopped out of its gear there clockwork. Lady Hawk now left in front. Ring of Light works around the outside to second. Checking Laura Beth and Confident breaking up on the turn the first time. Bendy saw around it now moves out to be third followed by Tortuga Kate Value. Second last asset test and clockwork is last. Two circuits out on the straight and in front Lady Hawk from Ring of Light the favourite. Eight metres away third Bendy Sue. In behind them confident on the outside. On the rail is Laurie Beth. A break of four metres to Tortuga Kate. Asset test on the inside. Value second last and last is clockwork. Out of the straight the first time and Lady Hawk in front. Ring of Light racing second the leaders back and five metres away third Bendy Sue. From last now clockwork is coming one off the fence and going forward. Fourth is Laurie Beth. A break of six metres to Confident fifth. Eight metres away Clockwork on the outside of Asset Test. Tortuga Kata second last on the back of Clockwork going forward and six metres away value. At the lap and a half it's Lady Hawk by five metres to Ring of Light. She's having a nice run. Six metres away third Bindi Sue. Laurie Beth on the inside. Clockwork now working forward on the outside. Bindi Sue about to come one off the fence to be third now so Clockwork angles for the one hour trail and gets it. As Bindi Sue comes off the fence in turn Ring of Light was about to come one off the fence. He does so now Tony Turnbull on Ring of Light the favourite. He works up within two metres of Lady Hawk of the thousand. Laurie Beth on the inside making ground to third. The leaders back from Bindi Sue on the outside. Then Clockwork on the outside. Confident back on the fence. Four metres to Tortuga Kate. Racing four back on the outside. Being trailed up by Asset Test and four metres away value. A circuit to go at the judge. Lady Hawk in control. She's by four metres to Ring of Light on the outside creeping closer. A metre back on the fence. Laurie Beth racing third. 
Bendy Sue fourth, fifth on the inside, Confident, followed by Clockwork, then Tortuga Kate, followed by Asset Test, and lastly, Insider's Value. Out of the straight of the 700, Lady Hawk by three metres to on the outside, Ring of Light. The favourites had a pretty good run, a metre back on the inside, Laurie Beth. Up on the outside, Bendy Sue every chance, followed by Confident, the inside. Clockwork now pulls to the outside, three wide, splitting Clockwork and Confident as Tortuga Kate. Six metres to Asset Test, followed by Value. At the 450, Lady Hawk two metres in front. Ring of Light now given full bore on the outside. Back in behind them, Laura Beth third, followed by Bendy Sue. Tortuga Kate now pulled to the outside. She's about to go forward. Clockwork can't go on. Confident beaten from Asset Test and Value. 220 out on the turn. Lady Hawk a neck in front of Ring of Light on the outside. Tortuga Kate out four wide, making ground from Bendy Sue. Lady Hawk though a metre in front. Ring of Light slowly picking it up from Bendy Sue. Tortuga Kate late on the outside. Ring of Light draws up to Lady Hawk. She put her nose in front. Ring of Light near the line. She's doing the better. And Ring of Light has got off to win by a metre. To Lady Hawk. Bindi Sue third, fourth and close up. Tortuga Kate. Then Laurie Beth followed by Value Clockwork Confident. And last in was Asset Test. Ring of Light the favourite odds on. 10 to 9 on in fact. Lady Hawk 16's Bindi Sue at fives. And the free for all Keystone Major was 7 to 4 on. Green light on their racing. Corfu drops out to last. Good go for the early lead. Aaron Zidal began quickly. It's going forward looking for the lead. Keystone Major is trying to hold it out but can't. Aaron Zidal leads on the outside. Keystone Adios of Keystone Major. Toby Dwayne racing fourth out of the straight. Then Dark Dreamer on the outside of Avant Gardas. Keystone Adios now zips around the outside and heads off Aaron Zidal. Dark Dreamer on the outside of Avant Gard. Coming one off the fence there. Keystone Major. Check Toby Dwayne just for a stride with Dark Dreamer. Corfu coming one off the fence caught three wide along the back early momentarily is Tenwa and three meters away Bevson along the back and in front Keystone Adios by a meter Keystone Major on the outside racing second one out as Toby Dwayne fourth and the leaders back and third as Aaron's Idol then avant guard three back on the inside up on the outside Dark Dreamer in behind them Corfu followed by Tenwa and Bevson is back at the tail before the turn a thousand meters to go Keystone Adios by a meter to the favorite Keystone Major the outside one one by one as Toby Dwayne having the run of the race at the expense of Keystone Major. On the leader's back as Aaron's idle. Four metres to avant guard the fence. Up on the outside, Dark Dreamer. He's being tapped up, followed by Corfu on the outside of Tenwa. And six metres away, Bevson. Had the winning post a circuit to go and the Keystones are matching stride. No cops in this feature. It's Keystone Adios by a neck to Keystone Major the outside and the favourites work. And they're going hard now a long way from home. Corfu pulls to the outside three wide. Toby Dwayne will have the last crack at them. On the leader's back and travelling fifth is Aaron's Idol, two metres of on guard. Then Dark Dreamer followed by Tenwa and ten metres to Bevson. Keystone Major, 550 out, drew three metres in front. Keystone Nadios under pressure. Corfu pulls to the outside. Toby Dwayne momentarily held up. Then a on guard on the outside of Aaron's Idol. Eight metres to Tenwa, Dark Dreamer and four metres away Bevson. 350 out before the turn. Keystone Major, a metre and a half in front of Corfu. Toby Dwayne's about to pull to the outside he's going okay to third then avant guard from Keystone Adios well back as Aaron's idol Tenwa Dark Dreamer Bevson Toby Dwayne now pulls to the outside of the top of the straight he's got them covered I reckon Toby Dwayne he raced up on the outside hit the lead of the hundred from Keystone Major Corfu boxing on followed by avant guard but Toby Dwayne perfectly driven by Gavin Lang racing away to score easily Toby Dwayne by six metres to Keystone Major Bevson flew home for third just in front of Corfu then avant guard knocking up was Keystone Adios followed by Tenwa Aaron's idol and Dark Dreamers run last. Toby Dwayne three to one impressive and beating Keystone Major seven to four on and Bevson at 40 to one. Well that was the first half of the program from the Valley. We'll take our last break and be back with the last five races. Monday was going for 19 in a row. Art Lamont pulls to the outside, four deep on the turn, and Shy Alto is back at the tail. 250 out on the turn. Lindy's Ruxury by a metre. On the outside, Hyperstat, she's going half pace. Tender Trap on the leader's back. Trudy's Gold in the centre, followed by Roses and Rain. Then Art Lamont, Shy Alto, and Marika's Dream. At the 120, Lindy's Luxury a metre in front. He gives Hyperstat a little bit more rain, and the lady raced away. And here's the Australasian record. 19 on in for Hyperstat. She's drawing away another brilliant performance. 
Hyperstead wins by four metres to ten to trap. Six metres away third. Maybe Lindy's Luxury just in... She's a great mare. Hyperstead fives on. Ten to trap 16s. Lindy's Luxury 100s. In race seven, game ebony odds on. Highly likely's on the leaders back out four wide John Gilbert. Admiral Aaron five deep. Fair Tally coming off the fence and about to get a split out after Game Ebony, who straightens up at the 250, about six metres in front. Then Minnesota Fats, followed by Trunky Doc. But here he is back to his best from New Zealand, Game Ebony. Given a bit more rain for Dickie Lee, his tail is waving in the breeze. That's Game Ebony. And also Dickie Lee, I guess, because the stable's having a great trot at the moment. No pun intended. And Game Ebony bolts in. Game Ebony by eight metres to Trinket. Two metres away, third fair tally, just in front of me. Game Ebony, too good at odds on for Trinket and fair tally in race seven in the eighth event, the favourite Duchess Daisy. Raspberry Beret, one off the fence, followed by Make Mine Brandy and our saga. Duchess Daisy under pressure on the turn of the 250. Big Bucks will straighten up three metres in front of Duchess Daisy. Selena's Glee goes to the outside, three wide. Monique Morley going OK, but held up. Right off the track is our saga at the top of the straight. Big Bucks, three metres in front. The danger, Monique Morley can't get a run. Big Bucks now shaken up, four metres in front. She's got them beat, Big Bucks. Monique Morley is getting into second placing from Windshield Denby, but Big Bucks wins by two. Two and a half metres. Monique Morley flashed home for second. Six metres away third. Windshield Denby just in front. Big Bucks at seven to four. Monique Morley seven to two. And Windshield Denby 33's Duchess Daisy unplaced in race nine. The favourite Dunmy Day. Then Chardas out in the clear. In behind them, Maori Echo, followed by Nugent Hanover. Well back, Gallant Meadows, Sempre Primo, Laughing Jewel and Amazing Jazz. 2.20 out, French General a neck in front. Dunmi Doe sticking on, four metres away. Chardas pulled to the outside. French General a metre in front of Dunmi Doe, followed by Chardas coming at them quickly. French General just in front. Chardas on the outside, though, sweeps up to French General. Chardas goes to the lead near the line. And Chardas draws away to score by five metres to French General. Two metres away, third, Dunmi Doe. Chardas at eights, French General five to two, and Dunmi Doe at six to four. The last event, my Aquabar, the favourite at seven to four. Then decapitate, followed by the Emperor and Compactor. 250 out on the turn. Bullman two metres in front. Other plans out, three wide now giving chase. Colonial Kid under pressure. My Aquabar can't get a run. Then Waikari Joker, Compactor wide, decapitate, getting a run, followed by the Emperor, Mr. Motorcycle. My Aquabar now gains the run of the 150, but Bullman found four metres. Decapitate on the outside, boxing on with My Aquabar, followed by other plans, but it's all Bullman. Bullman revved up near the line, straight to the lead, and he wins comfortably. Bullman by six metres to Maya Kabar, two metres away, third to Cabotator. And Bullman at 9-2, to taking out the last race on the card from My Aquabar, the 7-4 favourite, and Decapitate was third at 8-1. to Let's check the doubles last night from Mooney Valley. The daily double on 10, Robin Banks and 1, Toby Dwayne, $158.55. The extra double on 2, Accelerator and 8, Ring of Light, $2.15. And the Quadrilla on the numbers 2, 9, 8 and 1, paid $15.80. And that brings to a close this morning's edition of World of Sport Replay, and that's it for the show. And don't forget uh, that at 11 o'clock, in just a few moments' time, we have some great action coming up, some marvellous nostalgia, with the last episode, episode number 1,355 of World of Sport, with Sandy Roberts, all the old familiar faces that you've been so used to over the last 28 years will be with us here in World of Sport today. And I'm sure the boys are looking forward to a great day and I know that if you can sit back for the next three hours you're going to enjoy some marvellous television. Well as I say that's uh, it for World of Sport Replay and hopefully over the last 15 years we've managed to bring you some entertainment. Perhaps more importantly we've managed to find you a winner and a few thank yous to uh, Kevin and Peter the boys on the floor up in the control room today. Bruce, Phil and also Ricky. Uh, my thanks to Jerry Strager from Maple Mail Fashion at Southland and three ladies who really did the hard work on the show over the years. Tony Gruber, also Julie Cole and our director Annie Dunstan. So thanks a lot. We hope that there's many more winners in store for you in the years to come. And thanks for joining us on World of Sport Replay. Good. Okay. Thanks, Bob. Ladies and gentlemen, we at Demtel are about to tantalise you. How would you like the chance to get over $100 worth of jewellery absolutely free? That's right, free. You would? Well, watch. 
this gorgeous model is wearing our stunning chain of diamonds. This incredible chain is from our designer collection and selected especially for this amazing television offer. It's glistening with diamonds and is set with not one, not two, but three genuine hand-set quarter-point diamonds. The setting of your diamonds will ensure that they'll dazzle you with their brilliance. Remember, all the diamonds are real, not cubic zirconias. The chain has been heavily plated in 18 karat gold and together with the breathtaking diamonds represent a delicate statement of quality and taste. You could be forgiven for believing that this exquisite chain of diamonds is very, very expensive. However, in this exclusive TV offer, it's yours for just $40 elegantly presented in a suede pouch. But what about the free jewellery we promised? Watch. Your pouch will contain this simply stunning diamond cut rope chain. Look at it glisten plus this 16-inch chunky yet delicate snake chain, an 18-inch box chain, as well as this elegant herringbone chain. That's four superb chains, and there's still more. A 20-inch fancy trace chain, plus a beautiful Figaro chain, Italian design at its best. Both chains even come with matching bracelets. What an offer! The designs of these chains were selected by a French jewellery house, with each one of them having been heavily plated in genuine 18 karat gold. The complete six-piece chain collection, together with the two matching bracelets, are yours absolutely free when you purchase your incredible chain of diamonds for just $40. Ring now. For this and all our amazing Demtel offers, ring now. 008 for delivery to most areas tomorrow by TNT. 0822-5455. Monday night on Day by Day, who wants to be an engine driver? Mum, look at those kids. Aren't they silly? A lot of concentration involved in driving a train. You know, you get the, it gives an impression that you're sitting up there nice and relaxing. If you're always subconsciously alert for something out of the ordinary. That's Monday night on Day by Day. Within the hour. Budget the Australian Carverdo Company bring you the first ever home delivery service. Now we even drive your dollar to you. Listen to what an expert has to say about Fab 2. nice and clean, but sometimes dirty. Fab 2 clean and soft, so ground in dirt, Fab 2 built-in fabric softener, very clean, very soft. Ready tomorrow, Mrs. Chen? Yeah, Fab 2, no worry. Fab 2 gets clothes. Pizza Hut's new u butte No Worries, She'll Be Right, Fair Dinkum Aussie Pizza is topped with freshly beaten eggs and now a generous helping of crisp bacon slices. The new Aussie pizza is just too good to last. So give one a go before they're gone. Struth. Coo-ee.